can we draw the Lewis structure of BrF3, bromine trifluoride? Yes, we can. First thing to note is that bromine and fluorine are both non-metals. That means when they bond together, they'll form a molecular compound. Molecular compounds share electrons. It's not going to be a transfer from one to the other. Instead, all the electrons get pooled together and distributed as needed. How many valence electrons are we even dealing with here? Well, bromine in group 17 here brings seven valence electrons, and each fluorine also brings seven electrons, but there are three of them. Seven times three is 21, plus the extra seven is 28 valence electrons total. Now we can begin to draw. Put one atom in the center. In this case, it's the atom we have one of. And then surround it with the other atoms, in this case, the fluorines, which can only handle one bond at a time anyways. Now I'm going to single bond the central atom to all the outer atoms. And then I'm going to fill the octets of my outer atoms. This fluorine already has two electrons, so I need a third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth electron. Now that fluorine satisfies the octet rule. We got to do it again. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And like my best friend DJ Khaled says, another one. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. Now, so far, the fluorines have a satisfied octet rule, but we need 28 electrons total, and I wasn't even counting how many electrons we put here. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. We have four extra electrons we got to deal with. What do I do with them once the octets of all my outer atoms are full? I dump them onto my central atom in pairs. So I've got two extra lone pairs now on that bromine. This is the Lewis structure for BrF3. And if you're concerned about this bromine having two, four, six, eight, ten electrons around it, I want to assure you that bromine, like sulfur, can have an expanded octet. It means, sure, bromine is happy with just eight valence electrons around it, but it can also accommodate 10, and I've seen up to 12 for bromine. That happens because once you get to the third row of the periodic table, some electronic structure things happen, which are probably beyond the scope of what you're doing if you're just learning to draw Lewis structures. The point is that this is legal, and uh, you did it with me, and congratulations, best of luck.